Hey guys, it's Emma here again at Curious Knits and this is a project complete video. So if you see um, if you see my previous video, you will see that I was trying to make a tiny Santa hat to basically go on top of a Teddy's chocolate orange. It's something I've seen at Christmas craft fairs recently and I wanted to try it myself. I didn't have any instructions and I was going to try and make this with circular needles. Um, and these are the needles here. So I was really excited to try this because as I say, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just winging this um, and usually I'm so far I've had you know a pattern to work to or I've kind of known what I was doing whereas this was something I was just trying with the skills that I picked up and just bringing them all together to see how this worked and I am happy to report that I managed. So this is my Santa hat on top of my Terry's chocolate orange. So this is one of the ones I'm going to be gifting um, to some lucky person in my family. <laughs> I hope they feel the same way. Um, but basically, yeah, it's just red and white uh, and a little uh, pom-pom on the top. And this is using, as I say, skills I've learned already from making the hat for my mom for Christmas um, and just some other basic stitch patterns. So basically just a quick rundown of how I did this. Um, I cast on, I think, 36, it's going to be 35, and then you add one on to close the round for if you're working in the round. And then that was with the white. So what I did was I started with just the plain garter stitch for the brim of the hat. Did a few rows. I did some um, practices and I've made a few until I found the exact pattern I wanted and like ratio from like white to red and things like that. So I think I've got the bit here. Again, just marking things off on a bit of a bit of paper. So there's my formula for making a hat. So I found the one I liked and I marked it and then just made a bunch of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, just cast on, then worked a few rows of the white in garter stitch and then moved to the red um, and after a few attempts at different uh, hats I figured out the best way to connect the red and to work on and then the red I do a purl stitch so you can see there's the garter stitch and there's a purl stitch so you can see it's a difference and I quite like that it's different from the brim because it just I don't know to me makes it look more like a hat with a brim and it's different end off at the top same as the hat I made so basically just kind of grab a little sewing needle and just loop them all up together pull it to tighten it so that's where you kind of get this kind of coming together at the top bit here kind of look here um, basically just tie that off tighten it secure it and then do a little pom-pom from the top so again, um, I used just my hand, my fingers to make these pom-poms instead of like a plastic or cardboard pom-pom machine or maker or things you can make yourself. I just used my fingers and um, again, just the same as before, just smaller. So uh, I think I wrapped the white wool about 40 times around like three fingers, slipped it off and then just tied it up, snipped, kind of uh, fluffed it up a bit made sure it looked okay and um, there wasn't any bits that were too long or too short and then um, just secured it to the hat. I mean obviously the inside doesn't look quite as nice um, and then just kind of like weave in all your ends but the inside doesn't matter because no one's actually putting this on their head this is staying on here so <laughs> no one needs to see that bit and then they just whip off chuck it behind them because who cares there's a chocolate this is the more important bit so <laughs> but yeah I'm quite chuffed with that like this is the first thing I've done with just like winging it and it actually worked in my opinion really well for you know trying this I've never done it before so I'm really happy with how this came out a few people are going to get these in their Christmas stockings from me um, and I hope they like them too so I've got like little gift bags and things I can just pop them in so ta-da, there you go, Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, so I hope you like this video um, and depending again when this video is going up, Merry Christmas <laughs> um, or Happy New Year, depending on how late it goes up. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, pass this on to friends if they're interested. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you liked it 
and I will catch you next time guys. Bye!